We're around town in stereo. <laughs> hey, Anna. Pizza's I'm great. in stereo. Isn't I heard you yeah. got two pieces. Oh, yeah. yeah. The vegetarian. The oh. temple has been desecrated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. How about that. It must be great pizza, Chad, if Larry Potash has had two slices. <laughs> I think it's pretty good pizza. Now, so. this is Zaza Pizzeria. It's New York style for artisanal. Because Pat Tomasulo was born in New Jersey, he wants to know what are two Warrenville boys doing making New York pizza? <laughs> well, Brett's a chef, so I'm pretty sure he can make anything pretty well. Was, Why did you guys want to open a pizza place in the middle of the pandemic? You know, it was never really a concern of ours. Mm -hmm. We thought we would do well. As long as we put out good food, we thought we would do well. So, and it's mm -hmm. been the case. And you guys have researched this. Tell me a little bit about creating this specific pizza. So, Brett is really the mind behind all the pizza. He's here to support him. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've been researching pizza for the last little while, but he's been making pizza for the last two years independently. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really proud of what he's doing. I'm going to go talk to Brett because, of course, Chad has been sending me to talk to Brett this morning. All I do is the business side of it. Two brothers, Chad and Brett uh, This is Chef Brett. He's actually trained as a chef. But you guys have always loved pizza. You called it Za growing up. We sure did. So that's why we decided to name the place Zaza's. Mm -hmm. Kind of a play on words. Mm -hmm. And um, so the idea is that we take something amazing like New York pizza, which mm -hmm. is so classic, and then we start to add artisanal ingredients like truffle and soppressata to try to make it our own and try to make it, you know, unique and different. And you're selling it by the slice too, which is a very New York thing to do? Absolutely. So we do slices for lunch, uh, but we get so slammed for dinner doing whole pizzas that we do not do slices for dinner anymore. Did you really think you were going to get slammed in the middle of what's going on? <laughs> Honestly, we had no idea. I mean, we were expecting to maybe start to grow over the course of like a year. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that we were so busy right out the jump was absolutely a surprise to us for sure. And, and, and I think it's a testament to how good the product is. We're going to try it out coming up around town. And at Zaza Pizzeria, but wait, you have to meet the family behind these boys because those are the people that had us come here. We'll have more coming up around town with the Zaza Bros. That's what they're calling now.